outside. You see a little yellow aircraft, and this is a trainer that the military used for many years, the T-67 Firefly from a company called Slingsby. actually been displaying aircraft since way back in 1984 and that was after he'd already spent 21 years in the Royal Air Force. So this guy has got a lot of air time and a lot of experience. It's also a delightful little aircraft. I used to fly these a decade or so ago myself and I've got to say I loved every minute on it. Really nice handling aircraft, a lovely visibility from the cockpit as well and uh, superbly um, aerobatic at the same time. Limited power, however, um, and that uh, it brings us back to uh, something I mentioned earlier on, which is energy management. So you, you generally start at a highish profile, so you keep that momentum going. Putting in a stall turn there, you see, just putting in a foot, big foot of rudder, basically, whilst trying to keep the aircraft in a vertical position just before it runs out of airspeed. So really, really important to get the uh, precision and timing absolutely right. Lovely big barrel roll there, as if you are flying around the outside of a large barrel. There's plenty more of those sorts of manoeuvres to come during the rest of the air show. So we keep this gentle manoeuvring going from uh, left to right, keeping us close, of course. Now here's an example, you were asking about the effect of the wind earlier on. Well, this light aircraft at low speeds may have a tendency to blow towards the public air. So as he drifts out towards um, the, the northwest, towards Blackpool, then he'll just push a little more gently out into the wind to make sure that he keeps his spacing absolutely spot on. But uh, you don't need to teach this guy much, as I say. He's uh, just full of experience. Delightful little uh, aircraft. And he keeps it all well within the power and the capability range, uh, rarely exceeding uh, three to uh, three and a half G. So a very, very comfortable experience. A nice, comfortable cockpit as well. But when you look back at his pedigree as to where he uh, come from, well, he spent most of his time flying on operations, uh, particularly on hunters and jaguars. A bit of time on hawks, Jeff Provost, Meteor, Nat, and Chipmunk. And he was the strike command hunter display pilot yeah, way back 1972-73. He put in around 50 uh, public displays over those two se uh, seasons and uh, was the winner of the very first WD and HO Wheels solo jet display trophy at the North Wheels International Air Tattoo, the first one in 1972. business experience as well in aviation rods and also spent 15 years with the CAA as well uh, so he knows both sides of the uh, of the operation both regulating it and flying it and he was uh, instrumental in writing or drafting the early framework of regulations that we still use today with Farmer International on their air displays, involved with Shoreham and a number of uh, many other displays at Blackpool, Biggin Hill and also the great air show at uh, Yorkshire as well. He's now a coordinator for the fabulous flying displays on behalf of the Imperial War Museum down at Duxford. In addition to all his Air Force experience, had a huge amount of time on warbirds as well. Mustang, the Corsair, the Wildcat, the Sea Fury, Bearcat, the Hurricane, Harvard and Sky Raider. What an amazing uh, set of aircraft to have in your logbook. Quite fantastic. And you see now as he's lost a bit of energy, he's, the aircraft has descended slightly. He's not climbing quite as high, although he needs to climb at the end of most maneuvers just to get that extra bit of energy uh, with the limited horsepower he has on this particular engine. Very effective trainer, as I say, used initially um, for basic 
selection and initial fixed wing training for all three services. Replaced by the Grob Tutor, which you'll see in a couple of hours' time. blood as well. His uh, eldest son has been out in the Middle East as a hawk instructor for a considerable number of years and no doubt we'll see him on the display circuit at some stage as well. as well, he'll be looking out every time he comes by, he's not quite complete yet, but coming towards the latter end of his display. And you see slowing the aircraft right down, a really good uh, speed range this aircraft, a good touring aircraft as well. It really is slow isn't it, and that's actually a little bit of downwind as well, I think there might be a little bit of a component there, but uh, the wind's still quite frisky. But uh, luckily coming over the uh, sea there, probably uh, reasonably well balanced wind uh, without too much interruption but uh, getting near the cloud it will obviously in, uh, inherently increase uh, the bumpiness but okay so he's just confirmed what he's doing now so this is going to be his last pass he says on the radio he's going to to north and then he's going to disappear behind us and then recover back to Woodvale it's great that we have Woodvale just down the road and grateful thanks to them and all the staff there as well for opening up and hosting the aircraft this is Rod Dean in the T67 Firefly give him a huge wave thank you Now you should, you would enjoy spinning something like this.